Magandang umaga. Ako si Jim Paolo David, isang mag-aaral ng Pampaga Agricultural College. At narito ako ngayon sa building ng Institute of Arts and Sciences upang malaman ang dahilan kung bakit ang mga nag e sa course ng AB English ay nadadagdagang tuwing first semester at nababawasan naman tuwing second semester. Now, I'm with Ms. Celia de Guzman, the Department Chair of the Institute of uh, Arts and Sciences of Languages and Literature. So, hello ma'am. Um, I'm here to ask about the AB English program and the course itself. So, my first question is, what can you say about the AB English program and its retention policy? Uh, the, the AB English program is, I think, uh, in full swing already because uh, Two or three years ago, the student population in the program uh, increased. Uh, however, uh, as uh, is observed, as has been observed by uh, the faculty members of the department, every first semester the student population uh, is uh, is relatively higher when we compare it to the student population during the second semester. Uh, the, the, the student population always dips or drops during the second semester. Uh, as, uh, as a program, I think it is uh, picking up not only in terms of, uh, of enrollment or student population, but uh, it has become popular among among enrollees, probably because of uh, the popularity also of uh, call center, of call centers in the Philippines. Because I think most of our graduates are getting, uh, getting employed, uh, if not in, uh, in education or teaching, they would always uh, target uh, of getting employed in call centers. So ma'am, as you said earlier, uh, why do you think the number of enro enrolling AP English students in the second semester is decreasing? Uh, as I have said, uh, to a large extent, probably this is because of the retention policy. Uh, we thought of uh, doing that uh, policy because, uh, as you know, we are a state college and we cannot refuse any, any student who, uh, who opts to enroll in so we we have to do a uh, screening somehow. Uh, so during the first year, we prefer the, the screening to be done in the first and second year rather than uh, when the students are already enrolled in several major courses. So screening of uh, students, of AB English students, will have to be done during the first two years, at least the first two years. So uh, that is probably why our student population decreases during the second semester because all the, all the courses offered during the first semester are prerequisites to higher courses in the second semester. So if they fail, for instance, if they fail to come up or comply with the grade requirement for the first semester, naturally they will be evicted from the program because they uh, could not uh, comply with the, with the grade requirements. We have gathered the data of the population of AB English students from first semester of school year 2009-2010 to second semester of school year 2013-2014. In the first graph, the total number of students enrolled in the course are 199.115 or 58% of students in the first semester and 84 or 42% enrolled in the second semester. In the school year 2010-2011, the total number of students enrolled are 233.121 or 52% of students enrolled in the first semester and 112 or 48% enrolled in the second semester. In the school year 2011-2012, the total number of students enrolled are 279.157 or 56% of students enrolled in the first semester or 122 or 44% enrolled in the second semester. In the school year 2012 to 2013, the total number of students enrolled 
are 334.181 or 54% of students enrolled in the first semester and 153 or 46% enrolled in the second semester. In the school year 2013 to 2014, the total number of students enrolled are 387.214 or 56% of students enrolled in the first semester and 173 or 44% enrolled in the second semester. As we have observed, every year, the number of enrolled students is bigger in the first semester than the second semester. The number of enrolled AB English students decreases every second sem, probably because some of them stopped, some of them shifted other courses, and maybe some of them failed to their major subjects, and that is the reason why it is decreasing every second semester. So we conclude that the AB English course is not easy as some of us think it is. For further information, we interviewed one AB English student to get her thoughts and opinion about the course. Ang kasamang third year AB English student na si Veronica upang malaman ang kanyang masasabi tungkol sa course of AB English. So Veronica, I have a few questions to ask you. Yes. First, what made you decide to enroll in this course? So my first real plan is to enroll in education, but sadly I have a grade of 7 to 9 in math. So they didn't allow me to enter that course, and then I decided to go here of Arts and Sciences to uh, enroll as an uh, AB English student. So, luckily, they accepted me and now I'm a third-year student. So, what can you say about the course? Oh, the course is really tough. You have to do a lot of paperwork, researches, and sometimes we lack resources in our library and we have to go to different libraries and stuff. So, so uh, even when you see that it's tough, are you, pl are you planning to pursue it until you finish? Oh yes, I'm planning to pursue it until I finish because um, I want to make my family proud. Of course, I didn't want me to uh, start again, all over again as a first year. So I'm doing my best and hopefully my professors will let me graduate as an AB English student. Okay, so that's all Veronica and good luck on your studies. Thank you. Being a student is not easy. We need to go through a lot of hard times. But what's important is, we always give our best in everything we do. Think about studying as a stepping stone to achieving your dreams. This is Jim Paolo David reporting.